Hey folks, Cooly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Savory Savoy. Now, I'd actually just started recording this intro, I got like three or four minutes into it, and then there were some background noises and stuff that happened here, I'm like, ah, let me just start over. So, I might get myself a little confuddled here as I begin speaking, as I confuse myself as, did I already say that, or is that in the take that didn't take? Um... Current situation. All right, we've done some more things. We've got some vassals. Yes, excellent. We are currently sucking up the Saluzzo because we want to integrate you, which will let us finish. Um, so it's going to finish Unified Pimo, which will give us development in Torino. Uh, give us some claims in Liguria as well, which is... Um, wait, where is Liguria? Oh, well, that gives us claims all over um, Genoan territory. That's weird, because Saluzzo's not actually in there, but okay. It's going to do that, which is fine. We've got some claims. It'll give us permanent claims. We already had some anyway. The other thing it'll do, it'll give us a bunch of development in Torino, which we can then use to uh, get Torino up to development 20 without us having to spend any points in it, which will trigger the City of Torino event, which will allow us to move our capital to Torino, which is going to be great, because it'll be within the Genoan Trade Node, which is where we want to be anyway. Which effectively, I don't know if we care really where our capital is. Either way, it's going to be in the mountains, which is kind of a nice thing. Uh, but it'll save us 200 Diplo power for moving our trade port into the um, Genoan trade node. So it's going to be great. Then it leads to this. Now, when I first read this, I was like, oh, we could just spend some development over here in uh, apparently Chambert um, to bring it up to 30. We could just do that now. We could do it ahead of time. But even though it says glory to, you know, Sam Barry over here. Um, and in the tooltip, it says that. Notice it says capital. I'm pretty sure that this is just a mission to get our capital to 30 development and five buildings. Um, so I think if we move our capital to Torino, this will say glory to Torino instead. So I'm not necessarily going to pre-spend anything over here. Although that reminds me. Okay, no, we don't have any estate missions right now. All right, good, good, good. Um... I think at the end of the last video, I was going to come over here and beat up some uh, separatists. I think they, they have a possibility of popping... Um, oh, I'm in the wrong place. They have a possibility of popping here or here. Uh, we're going to go and stand in the grasslands if they pop there, because we sort of want to fight them right away. When, I guess they do pop with full morale, so it might not matter. Um, but we don't have to stand in the hills because there's a fort here, so that we, if we move into the, here, into, um, into Berna, they are going to be considered the attacker and we'll have the defensive bonus of the hill, so it's going to be uh, peachy keen and fine. So we're going to force those just to get them out of the way, and that's going to be all right. So yes, we're improving the situation over here so that we can start annexing you. Um, assuming we leave the, leave the HRE, which I think what we want to do, because currently we have no more targets to attack that are going to be within the HRE when Italy leaves, because Milan's going to leave. Because we're going to be fighting Milan, but they're not going to be part of the HRE, neither is Genoa. So um, we're we're hoping for that route in terms of tings. Um, money, we actually would make money if we weren't reinforcing our troops, which is good to know. Um, I really, really, really want to put my focus on, um, on admin when we can. It is unfortunately still nine years away, but it is going to be really good. Consider that our heir has like the zero admin skill and everything. We want to do that. And I think I'm going to start with innovative first. I suppose it wouldn't be the end of the world if we went with um, quality ideas first. But innovative first, you know, gives you, uh, what is that, level 3 innovative? Gives you the discount to tech costs. So that can save a lot of power. Drusus Saluzzo ended, that's fine. Um, right, right, the other thing I was going to do. So since Geneva, or Genoa over here, sorry, is allied to Venice, which sort of screws up some war plans over there, I think our next most logical target is actually Milan. They don't have that many troops. They're allied to Salzburg, which only has 3k. They're allied to Savoy, which me, so it doesn't matter. And they're allied to Trent, which only has 2k. I think what I want to do... Let me abandon the plan to suck up to Brunswick. Who cares about them? I'm going to go and break my alliance with Milan. It will put us on, what, a five-year truce timer? But it's got to be done at some point. And in hindsight, I might have wished I'd done it a little sooner. Um, oh, that was the other thing. Hold on. That I did in the intro last time, and then I'd forgotten about uh, the truce map mode over here. Um, so anyone that's striped in green means we can declare war on them. Or, sorry, green, I think, means we have a CB. And, the, like, the clear green like this means we could declare war on these guys. So here we've got a, a truce timer because we've got, of course, our, um, our alliance truce timer. Um, France can't declare war on us. Uh, Milan can't, like, they don't have a CB and we've got a truce. Uh, Genoa can, because of the trade dispute, but I actually wouldn't be bothered by that. They're not going to do that. What I'm bothered by is the fact that currently Provence could. 
and they could theoretically call in France. Now, we do still have, you know, some allies, even without Milan. We've got Austria here, and the Papal State, which is, you know, nothing to sneeze at, and we might get a few more allies. We might decide to go shopping for one. But the France situation is a little bad. Now, the reason Provence can declare war on me is because of the trade dispute. So what I think I'm going to do, since I'm not... I'm not really at the threshold of 50 per power projection. I'm not even that close to the 25 power projection threshold. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of power projection by revoking the embargo against Provence, which will remove their CB against me. There you go. So now they can't just declare war um, and suddenly catch us off guard. Burgundy could. So Burgundy's actually got actual claims on us, um, and they're fairly strong. But, you know, only Molehouse over here. The problem with France is, A, they're strong by themselves, and they got a huge vassal swarm, so their actual total number is a little hard to calculate. I don't think Burgundy will do it, and if they do, again, Austria would be called in, so I think we'd be okay. Is Austria in a war right now? No, not currently. The big war against, um, like, Iberia and stuff has gone away. Uh, did Naples gain some territory? Do you already have that? I don't know. No, probably not, because Castile wouldn't, things wouldn't have had terrain over there. Okay, you're going to be there. I'm going to give you... Yes! Oh, Royal Marriage of Saluzzo. Absolutely. I'm going to give you another morale... Th or another uh, reinforcement tick. And then we'll trigger the rebels here. Just to get them out of the picture. There we go. July 1st. Um, I'm going to shift consolidate to make sure we're at full strength. Uh, it doesn't cost us anything, right? No, just 50% stronger, which is fine. They pop there, which is okay. And uh, we'll go ahead... Actually, I guess I could wait for another reinforcement tick. Not like they're going to take that that fast. The thing is, because... Oh, they don't have a leader? Yeah, no, we'll do this. It's going to be fine. We'll do this, and then, I don't know, move back down here or something like that. Um, because, remember, they are going to count as the attackers in the mountains. I mean, we don't have... Our guy doesn't even have shock pips, so he's really not a fantastic general at all. But this should be fairly easy to accomplish. I'll move you down here. I'll let you, um, I'll let you reinforce your numbers again, because one of the things we're going to need to do is just make sure our military strength relative to our vassals doesn't go too low. Um, I'll, I'll give you a couple months of reinforcing, and then uh, we'll go and probably just lower the cost. I guess I could drill in that time, because I think they reinforce at full speed when they're drilling, right? Skill 2 is too expensive for us. You, like, we're not 50%ing that guy. It's nice to get military power. I don't know if 40 military power is worth the ducats right now. Um, we can actually probably just take the prestige hit. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, when you arrive here, we'll consider whether we start drilling you for a couple of months or if we just get you to uh, chill out to save a little bit of cash. Uh, 147. I mean, we could fling some subsidies and give some stuff, but I think we're going to be okay. The improved relation still has some room. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine without spending money. Burgundy. Interesting that you're in a war. What we need is, like, remind me when Venice goes into war. Because that'll change some of our math in terms of the Genoan assault. Um, Pretender rebels, noble rebels, they shouldn't enter into my territory at all. It's nice to see Milan having a hard time. Unfortunate that we've got the truce. Unless I just want a truce break. I don't know, that's a lot of stability and we don't have the admin for it. I don't think we can do that. Let's do one more tick of reinforcements. Oh, it's only you're not getting 400 this month? No, it's too slow for the full cost. I mean, you're not as expensive anymore, but no. We'll lower that down. That's going to be okay. We'll save some cash. Sure. Out of curiosity, who might be willing to ally with us? Uh, 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 huh. Obviously, at some point we come to blows with France, but not not anytime soon. Yeah. Now that's not really going to do anything with Provence yet. That's despite us being rivaled to Provence. I wonder if there's any chance. These guys keep getting excommunicated. France might break their alliance with Provence. And wouldn't that be special? Uh -huh -huh. Uh -huh -huh. I'm on speed too. Oh, Shadow Kingdom. Excellent. Okay. 
While the Kingdom of Italy is still formerly part of the Holy Roman Empire, it has in many ways turned into a shadow kingdom with the Italian states acting independently of the Emperor. The failure of successive emperors to restore imperial authority in the region has left large areas of the control states that outright reject imperial authority. By now, the question for many Italian states is why they should allow the Emperor any authority over their lands. Uh, looks like it's going to pass anyway. I'll push this button over here to abandon the Emperor. The Empire will abandon Italy. We, we want to separate ourselves from the Empire. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. And so again, we have nothing we want to attack that's part of the Empire in the short term anyway, so we don't have to worry about the uh, the Emperor going and defending us or doing anything goofy like that. So we're going to happily leave. That's going to be okay. No, no, do, 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 do. You got that. Money's going up slow. Well, actually, that's not bad income. We could consider some more advisors. Um, This guy would semi-pay for himself. There's a little more production efficiency, so we have more, more income from goods. And so we're going to take the plus one admin because we do want more admin. That's going to be okay. I'll hold off on the military advisor. That's going to be okay. Um, at some point, we'll do this. But we don't really have to rush it quite so much. 69. Yeah, it's still pretty far away. All right, let's go to speed four before we can put the focus on admin. It's pretty good. It's like a three-point swing, right? Because right now it's getting a minus one. Then it'll switch to a plus two. Three point swing in that. So from six to nine. And yeah, it, it's going to be crippling to have this. We may, in fact, while I do, I would like to go innovative first because the sooner you get the scientific revolution, the better. I think we are going to have to start with quantity ideas for, or quality ideas first, um, since we're going to have tons of military points. We still need more admin because, okay, that's fine. Um, we still need more admin because we need, Provence got excommunicated again. What do they keep doing? Um, because we need to, you know, unlock the extra idea. Plus, we'll need it for coring and stability and all kinds of stuff. Um, France, what do you think of Provence? Oh, shit. Hugely. They've been improving things and done. Uh... You not care about the excommunication thing? So France's opinion of Provence. Oh, yeah, minus 50 is in there. Same dynasty, royal marriage. Yeah, okay. I guess that's not going to break anytime soon. What do we do with the extra diplomat? Um, I think I'll probably go and just do, make sure to cap out Geneva again. We could, with a gift, get uh, Saluzzo going. I don't have that much money. We can still get an extra 12 from improved relations, and we still have some things burning away. Um, yeah, we're going to have no problem uh, getting you going soon. Yeah, because there's... One, two, three, four, five negative things that are dropping automatically, and they're worth, there's probably like 10 points a year or something like that. Did you die, or did you pay off the emperor, or the uh, the pope? He may have just paid off to uh, get back in the pope's good graces. Okay. I don't, there's not going to be a tremendous amount of action here. Not right now. I would love to jump on Milan. It would be perfect right now. But that truce um, is just going to be too much of an issue. But yeah, picking up France is really nice. Now, I could. Any other alliances I might want to consider? No. I don't think any of the people on this can do much for us. Okay. Um, right. So, we've got this. Um, we are going to leave the HRE. Because here's the thing. If we stay in, um, unless we ally ourselves to the Emperor... We will get penalties for siege, unrest, and stability. Uh, no, we're going to happily just leave the Emperor. Let's let's double check that Milan has left, because we look here, there's the symbol for being in the tree. Milan doesn't have it. Genoa doesn't have it. Venice doesn't have it. Um, we are going to leave. So Brunswick's going to hate us. That's going to be fine. And we will leave, and so we'll salute so. And there we go. We're at 185. Here, we'll recall that. I'll just leave you idle for a second so that we can start the annexation, and then it can cancel. Uh, this over here. Yeah, with a little bit of money, we'd be able to start it a little sooner, but it's not a huge deal, I think, one way or the other. Oh, they may have lost the penalty to... Um, oh, there you go. Uh, that you annexed a member of the HRE. Because they would... No, they still have it there. That's interesting. Now, Geneva won't have it from me annexing Saluzzo. Let's do that, and... Oh, and you're returning. Oh, because did I max you out? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, I didn't even realize I was hitting that button. All right, so the idle diplomat right now. 
We can't send you to Geneva. I mean, I can, but you know, Max, there's not much point in doing anything over there. Um, we'll be able to annex you at some point. We'll have to, like, we're going to have to wait until all the um, the annex vassal, which is going to happen again, goes away. But we'll be able to get you there. It's a little bit slow, but it's going to be fine. Um, what I'll probably do is just improve relations with allies. Maybe I'll manually start in France or... Let's do this. Just to make sure that the buffer between them, you know, want to be our allies and not is as high in our favor as possible. Being royal married is going to help that a lot. Now, I hope that we don't have a disputed succession going on. No, we're fine so far, but we are low legitimacy and we don't have a lot of prestige either. Um, when we do get more uh, papal influence, we may in fact want to uh, add... Our, uh, do hit the button and improves your legitimacy. We can also do it um, here with strength in government, but I'd like to avoid spending points if I need to. But we can technically do it. All right, annexing there, that's going to be swell, and yeah, we'll trigger a bunch of events. We'll move our capital, which is going to be excellent. Manpower is going up, which is nice. You're still allied. We, I got to keep checking these guys periodically. If the alliance with Venice breaks, if Venice finds itself in a war, or Genoa finds itself in a war, it changes some of the math a lot. Um, do I have any CB thing? I mean, I know we've got the, uh, the truce. Yeah, I should probably fabricate some claims. Um. I guess I don't have to fabricate yet. Oh, yeah. We'll just leave this as, as is for now. We're gonna have to make some claims over here. Yeah, Lombardia. I was gonna say, unless you're part of Liguria, because I'm gonna get claims on it, but no, you're not. And then, yeah, we don't have to stress about claims over uh, Genoa at all, because we'll have permanent claims on these two provinces, so that's going to be fine. Um, I'm gonna point out that I have some desires here. This is, I mean, I'll have the permanent claims, so it doesn't matter. Now that'll be a little bit more of a of an iffy thing. Um, sickness of Duke. Is that me? I felt ill. More power to the nobility. Lowers taxes for a bit, but they gain loyalty. Okay, so either way, someone gains loyalty. Do I lose a little bit of taxes or autonomy? The thing is, autonomy drops naturally anyway. This is 10 years or if he dies. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I was going to say, the autonomy is going to be dropping regardless. We're fine. Do I want to bank a little bit of money first? No, I don't know. The sooner you build this, the better. And, like, the payback period for this is pretty nice. And we know, we're in Torino especially, we're going to need five buildings there for one of the missions, so we're definitely building one of those. I know long-term we're going to make way more money off trade rather than taxes, but right now you can see the taxes are considerably more, and in any case, it's going to pay for itself. Any of the churches that do 0.2 per month or higher, that's like, that's a high priority for building. It's pretty good. I love seeing Burgundy getting um, beaten up a little bit. That's actually really good. I don't know if they're actually losing a war. Who are they actually fighting? Yeah, I don't know, but as long as, um, I definitely don't want to lose them in power. Oh, Geneva, just over 50. What I'm going to do, I'm going to increase my army maintenance here. Um... To raise our relative military strength just a scooch. Losing money, but that's, I think, only during the reinforcement here. I think it'll get better. We're exactly at 50. Now, admittedly, they lost a little bit about their lovin' over here for me, but not much. I wonder if it's worth... You know what? I really don't want someone to support their independence. Um, I don't care that much about Diplo Power. And, you know, production, yeah, production's nice for cloth. Let's do that. Just drop them by 5% again. Just to prevent anything really weird from happening. Once Saluzzo gets annexed, it's not going to be an issue. I suspect it won't be another issue again. Um, I guess you may as well drill while we got our maintenance up. I'll let you get back up to full strength here. And yeah, this cost will go down as the reinforcements get in a slightly better position. I don't want to take out a loan, though, so... Just comes to shove, and I'll bring down the uh, the slider again. Oh, it actually went up a little in cost.
So let me do one more month, and then I'll drop it. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll want to build up our fleet at some point, too. That might be our next thing. Actually, we, we have a problem with sailors right now. We don't have a lot of coasts, so we don't have a lot of sailors. So there's actually a really big limit to how big our fleet can be. Um, Pope, Golden Bull, Institute embr em Embracement Cost and Spread goes up. Okay. Cardinal Spread Institutions. Great. You know, I got a couple of, of the damn Cardinals. Uh, there's no institution to embrace right now. I wonder if it's possible that you guys haven't embraced your institution. That's possible. Mm -hmm. Wow, the Rebellions in Milan. Yeah, jumping on these guys would be great. I don't know if it would have been practical for us to drop our lines with them sooner. I mean, it's one of those, like, hindsight's 2020, but vision is 2020. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, these guys are still drilling, although it's not really going to have any impact because we don't have any maintenance right now. Oh, uh, sorry. If they're drilling, they're still we're still paying their maintenance. I forgot about that. And yet, we're actually making net money, but I think I'd want this to go up a little bit more. Let me stop drilling. There we go. So now we're actually going to get a little bit more of an income. Um, So they're not a... Rep it says... Did they just keep flipping back and forth? Didn't it say we lost the CB against them for their government form? Milan is claiming stuff against me. Well, I'm, we're definitely going to start claiming stuff against them. Geneva's embraced the Renaissance. I don't think that makes much of a difference for us. When does this lift? It's only another couple of years. It's not bad. Okay, let me stop this for a sec with France. Let's um, build some spy networks. Come on. Okay. Now, they didn't call me in. It's an offensive war. They don't have to call me in. Looks like they didn't either. Uh, I would have had to say yes, so I'm happy they they didn't call me. Now, anyone here getting bigger and stronger is bad, including France. Yeah, they're my ally now, but I don't know if I necessarily want them to get too beefy. Although, if they had called me in, it would have given, them, given me fa favors, which could be nice. Fortunately, we lost all the favors we accumulated with them with the English War. Which is a shame, because we could have called them into something in the future. Annexing done. Oh my god. Yeah, Milan's just having a hard time. No no special wars, no special wars, and you're still allied to each other. Truce with England goes away, which presumably is the same truce France has with them, so that might kickstart again soon. I don't think you need a 42k death stack. A 44k, a 45k death stack, a 47k death stack to uh, to siege this. That's a little bit of attrition for no good reason, but sure. Um, I could probably insult you, although, no, my people are busy. We are about to drop below 25. Not that my leaders without upkeep thing is terribly important right now. It'd be nice to wipe out Genoa so that I can um, rival Genoa or Milan instead. Okay, well, declining power of the nobility. Um, we definitely want to run this because this is 20 years of morale of armies for a one-time money injection, which won't put us negative. Uh, so that's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we still, we do actually still have one state without the Renaissance, so we don't have that ticking. We could get ourselves up to 30. We actually have a mission to get up to 30, which we'll do to Torino. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to do it until the capital moves. Um, I just realized, I think we are still running Encourage Development over here, which uh, we don't... Yeah, we don't need that. And I can always put it back in, so that's going to be okay. There, that'll save us a little bit of ma state maintenance, which is going to be fine. Since we did take that money hit. We are running some advisors, so that's where some of our money is going. Um, honestly, we could probably live without this guy right now. It's not like we need the Diplo power so much, and the improved relations isn't quite so critical anymore. I don't think we've got any aggressive expansion. Yeah, which, oh, we have a little bit, but not enough to really matter. Although, if we take a big chunk out of Milan, there might still be some. Now, I think we might get less with the HRA state, since this is not in the HRE, but there's still going to be a lot, because there's a lot of countries nearby. They're all Catholic right now, which is one of the modifiers, for example. All right. Saluzzo is about to go, which will give us another minus 30 with Geneva. Um, this is a level 2 at half price, which is too expensive. Yeah, we'll just do this and take the points. 100%. 
100%, but we're not done yet. 100% is a lie. This is why your coach always said you had to give 110%, because apparently 100% is not complete. Clearly just a rounding error, 99.99 or something. Integration. Good to see. Prestige from that. Milan embraced. Okay, fine. Mission successful. So we unified PMO over here. So we can run this. Absolutely. We're going to hit that. Hey, and that gives us enough to prosper in PMO because we have 20 development in Torino and we have over 120 in all of our country because we got enough from Saluto plus the plus three, which puts us one over the target. So we're going to run that. Um, absolutely. I want to go and elevate the Duchy of Torino. Now, before I hit this button, trying to figure out the math, there is a discount to development cost on something that's our capital. It's only 6% right now, which isn't much. I know I need to get this up to 30. I'm going to get an extra 4 points over here from doing this. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend over here. Uh, encourage development. We're going to spend in Torino and bring it up to 26. Ideally, I'd like to avoid spending admin. Because I do still feel like that's what we're going to be behind on. There you go, 26. So if I do this, it's going to become our capital, have 30 development. Um, now, we can't finish this until we have five buildings. But 30 development was a big target, so we're going to do that. It's also a target for a large city over here, which we got. Core province of 30 development. Why does it say 32 here? I don't know. Done, done, done. Um, how's our... Uh, force limit situation, we are indeed over by two. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to com commit completely to the cheaper route of no cavalry. That's going to be fine. Building the spy network there. Um, there was something else I was going to do with my extra diplomat, and I can't remember what it was. I didn't want to do it because I was building a spy network and I was doing that. See, this is why I need to stream this, because I can't remember. There's no I don't think we had to do anything Genoa. I thought I wanted to insult some people. Yes. I'll send a sworn... Oh, I can't, because I'm at exactly zero. I need I need positive prestige. So we'll send a normal one over there. Okay. And then we'll send a scornful one when we've got a point of prestige. A little bit of prestige. And then we'll merge these guys up. All right, this seems like a good place to put in a cut. Overall, liking where we've been. It could have been a little faster. I mean, 20 years... Have we done as much in 20 years as we could have unlikely on the other hand are we in a pretty strong position yes i think we are i think we're in a very strong position and our mission stuff is going well so next conquer genoa build some fortifications um and build some buildings which is going to be fine take provence is a big one integrate geneva is going to be one of the other tricksy ones so again we've got the annex vassal but that'll tick away at some point um and we'll just have to take another we'll have to take another run at them once the negative modifiers go away I don't think we're planning on annexing or vassalizing anyone else. Genoa is going to is going to be too big to um, to vassalize unless they lose all their holdings over here. Um, so it's just going to be some annexing of territory, which is going to be fine. I mean, they might get a little aggressive expansion stuff, but would they as a vassal? I don't know. Anyway, um, I could see us maybe vassalizing Provence. I don't know about their size. We could we could double check on all these. Um. So that's 46. Let's call this 56. Okay, yeah. No, we, uh, that's uh, all their territory, all four of their provinces is less than 100. So that is possible. I don't have anything else weird kicking around somewhere else, do they? Um. Oh, this is their stuff over here. Yeah, that, that might. That actually might put them over the edge, yeah. So we might not be able to eat them in one go, um, which isn't the end of the world. Honestly, I don't necessarily need to have this stuff. But what we do want is we'd like control over as much Genoa and trade node stuff as possible. So we would like this territory. Um, I don't think we have to like we don't have to mark it yet. I don't think it's going to make any real positive difference for us. So let's not bother yet. So, yeah, mission wise. Um, yeah, we're not going to rush this. I mean, it, all it does gives us uh, more claims, and this just, uh, it gives us the local unrest stuff, but it gives us some claims, and then we get to France. Now, completing the France stuff would be kind of epic, but we don't really need to um, 
brush down this branch that much. It's not that influential. It's not that important to speed through. But the rest of it um, has some great short-term effects and will be fairly easy to achieve. Spend a bunch of money, basically, and Torino is where we're at, which wouldn't be too bad. Folks, thanks for watching another episode. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.